MMN that's being cyber hacked by someone in the community. The question is, who is it that's cyber hacking a homeless man and why? Are they doing it for sport? Are they doing it for game? Are they doing it so they can say, hey, that guy is lame? Or are they doing it to be violent and, well, vandalize a man's company and his property? What I can tell you is what I've seen. That each time I have a problem on my computer, it's usually an employee from this particular brand of business that's coming outside the store when I arrive to sit down to just rest my heart after walking around. I can also tell you that today my computer is not the same. Yesterday I had for weeks and months on end a colorful rainbow going off my keys all the time, kind of cycling through. I didn't actually ask the computer to do that, did you? Previously, I liked the fact that I could press a button on my computer and the keys would light up if I was working in kind of a dark lighting situation. Today, they're not doing that at all anymore. As of yesterday, that mechanism was shut off when people started to accept that I'm working on things that have a lot of legal liabilities. But here's the thing, what it allows them to do is to see my passcodes, and I don't like that, do you? In life, I have moments of time to say, this is my computer, people. It's not yours. You don't have the right to hack it. You don't have the right to abuse it. You don't have the right to delete things on my desktop. And you do not have the right to infiltrate my life and impede it. But here's the thing that just happened today. That while I was working, making recordings, and viewing this shop behind me in not very good lighting, you might see in one of those YouTube videos already, is that openly right after that, my computer got shut down completely meaning that I couldn't re-access it. And right now when I'm trying to shut my computer down just to hold it in what we call a sleep mode, it shuts all the way off and has a problem. So what can I say to you other than what I observe, what I see, what I think, and what I feel as a reporter, but I can also be incredibly perturbed as an employee of my own company and an individual that didn't ask for this privacy to be invaded, that I'm pretty motherfucking angry. And I feel that I, as a man, I have the right to say this. I've suffered through enough meetings with other men in networking and one-on-ones where they're swearing constantly at me and openly I don't really like it. But I think people who are upset about what's going on in their own life need to stop and focus on their own life. What I can tell the people who are doing this to me is there's a lot of federal laws that are now applying to their lives because they didn't stop to think about what they were doing to me and their arrogance says they'll never find me. That is not true. You failed to recognize who I am, who I was, and who I will be in the future with the employers who are interested in, well, my abilities.